I'm Nathan Hollenbeck here with your week in sports. Last week, Peyton Manning has cut from the Colts. Now he's back in headlines. Manning is now a free agent. Teams are calling and making offers. Peyton Manning spent nearly six and a half hours at the Arizona Cardinals headquarters and training facility on Sunday and meetings designed to lure the superstar to the desert. The session followed a meeting of nearly six hours Manning had at the Broncos facility in Denver on Friday night. The two sessions were evidence that, for the time being, Arizona and Denver appeared to be the top two contenders. After Manning's visit in Arizona, he headed home to Florida where he may or may not meet with the Miami Dolphins. He is set to return to his workouts as he comes back from a seri series of neck surgeries. Now, let's talk some 80 mile fun. Yes, NASCAR came to Vegas with their yearly race. Who were you rooting for? If you're a Tony Stewart fan, well, you must be one happy person. There are some daredevils in this world and with this race, the last minutes were the most daring. Stewart made a three wide pass on a late restart and held off Jimmy Johnson at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway on Sunday. He now has one at a track that was the site of his biggest disappointment last season. Stewart came back to Las Vegas with a new crew chief. He was hoping to pull off something a little better than last year. When a pit mishap spoiled a chance at victory with what he, he believed to be the best car in the field. Stewart got the lead with a, did he just do that move? With 34 laps to go in the 400 mile race. Coming around turn four to the start finish line, Stewart charged up behind Brad Keselowski and timed it just right to dip below him on the apron. I wonder if Keselowski tweeted that. <laughs> he zipped to the front and stayed there, pulling away on three more or less thrilling restarts over the final 17 laps. It was his sixth win in the past 13 Sprint Cup races and first on the 1.5 mile tri oval, not far from the bright lights of the strip. You know what it is, Vegas. What happens in Vegas? Stewart will take home. More sports coming next week and an update with college basketball since it is that time. This is going to do it for this edition of your weekend sports. And remember, Brump, watching sports doesn't mean you're getting exercise. Good night.